Hi, welcome back. In last video, we have seen the integration between JMeter, Prometheus and Grafana. And I have got a couple of questions regarding how to view the host level metrics in Grafana dashboard while running the test. So this video, we will see how to retrieve those details and display it in your Grafana dashboard. To retrieve the host level metrics, I'm going to leverage an open source project called WMI Exporter. It is basically a Prometheus exporter for the Windows machines where you will be able to retrieve your Windows uh, metrics and uh, export it to Prometheus and from Grafana you will be able to see the details. The installation of this particular package is very simple. All you need is go to this GitHub repository and uh, click on uh, releases and based on your system architecture you can download uh, the MSI package or uh, .exe package. I have already downloaded and installed the uh, MSI. It's very uh, simple and straightforward. Uh, just uh, click on next, you will be done. By default, it uses the port uh, localhost uh, 9182. If you visit 9182 slash metrics, you will be able to see the uh, details. And if you go to this readme section, you can see the, the queries basically, uh, what type of collectors you can uh, enable and you leverage and description. And if you click on these links, you'll be able to see the detailed query and also there will be an examples from for the Prometheus alerts. It's very uh, simple and straightforward and no need to time spend on the Grafana dashboard as well because uh, if you, you can leverage the community dashboards so all you need is the Grafana dashboard ID and you can easily export it in your uh, Grafana. We will see th uh, the details in, in a moment. So after successful, successful uh, installation, you should be able to uh, scrape this particular information in your Prometheus.yaml uh, file. So go to uh, your Prometheus installation folder and uh, open the YAML file and make sure uh, you are going, you are configuring the job. So in this case, my job is, uh, job name is WMI and the target is a localhost 9182 so it's already configured and make sure the scrape interval is uh, 10 seconds and once this configuration is done hit save and go to your uh, command uh, sorry uh, windows explorer and launch the command prompt and here we are going to launch the uh, prometheus.exe file using the config uh, dot file is equal to prometheus.yaml and hit enter. Now our uh, scraping configuration is done and now it is retrieving the uh, metrics and it is uh, exporting to uh, Prometheus. Now go to uh, your data sources and make sure you already configured the localhost 1990, the Prometheus one and go to plus icon here which means uh, we are, you are going to create a dashboard. So we are not going to create a dashboard by ourselves because it will take time uh, and you need to know the query and the formulas, etc. So just click on import. So before that, uh, importing the Grafana dashboard, uh, you can just search for the dashboard you would like to import. So go to grafana.com uh, dashboards page and here you can customize uh, your requirements. So basically you can filter and uh, uh, here you can select the data source as uh, Prometheus and uh, just search WMI and hit enter. So here you can see the community dashboards and sort it by the uh, reviews or you can sort it by the, uh, the frequency of the uh, downloads. So let us go with uh, we can go for this one, Windows host metrics base. Just click on it and uh, click this uh, button, copy ID to clipboard and go to your Grafana and paste it here and click on load. And here you can give a name uh, and then you can select the source as Prometheus and click on import. So this will import everything and then it will display automatically for you. So right now, I have the uh, CPU 4 processors, 4 core, uh, RAM is 16 GB and CPU is 60% memory, disk utilization, etc. And if you expand the CPU, uh, memory, uh, network details, etc., you can see those details. And if you want to customize, you can, of course, you can do that. Just click on this gear icon and uh, click on this make editable 
and uh, go to your JSON model. You can see the JSON model and go back. And here you can uh, go to edit and see the query. So right, uh, right now, this is the query for the CPU utilization and uh, you can customize based on your needs. So no need to uh, spend time on the uh, Grafana dashboard creation uh, by yourself. Of course, if you know, you can write your own code, but you can leverage the community dashboards. And here you can add the JMeter stuffs. So sometimes uh, you will get these kind of errors. So to get rid of this error, what you can do is you can go to edit and click on the visualization. Click on gauge so that it will display the uh, right metrics here and go back. So similarly, you can repeat uh, for the rest of the uh, panels. I think there is a compatibility issues because this dashboard would have created uh, uh, the previous versions of Grafana or the uh, panel which is not supported at that time. And here just select uh, gauge and go back. So like that you can repeat and then you'll be able to see the details. So I hope uh, this video is pretty useful to you guys and please let me know if you have any questions and if you face any issues, uh, please uh, enter in the comments or I will check it out. Thank you. Have a good day.